Welcome back guys. In this teaching video, I'll be looking at 3.5 Psalm 2, Infinity. 3.5 represents chapter 3, section 5 of the person A Level Mass, Pure Mass, Year 2, textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this section. Consider the following geometric series. We've got 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus dot dot dot. Now over here, we can see that the terms are getting larger. Let Sn, the sum of the first n terms, equal 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus dot dot dot. Now, as n tends to infinity, Sn tends to infinity. Why is this the case? Because we can see that the terms are getting larger. Hence, the sum will tend to infinity as n tends to infinity. We call this a divergent series. The common ratio r is calculated by taking the second term and dividing by the first term. So we have 4 divided by 2, which is 2. Consider the following geometric series. We've got 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 16 plus dot dot dot. In this case, the terms are getting smaller. Let Sn, the sum of the first n terms, equal 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 16 plus dot dot dot. Now over here, we see that as n tends to infinity, Sn tends to a constant. Why is this the case? Because in this scenario, the terms are getting smaller. Hence, the sum will tend to a constant as n tends to infinity. We call this a convergent series. The common ratio is calculated by taking the second term and dividing by the first term. So we've got a quarter divided by a half, which is a half. Now over here, the common ratio was 2, but over here, the common ratio is 1 over 2. Now the common ratio has to be within a certain interval for S infinity to exist. So in general, a geometric series is convergent if the modulus of the common ratio is less than 1, and S infinity exists. So S infinity is equal to A over 1 minus R. Now... The modulus of the common ratio, r, being less than 1, is the same as writing r is between minus 1 and 1, not including minus 1 and 1. So these are the key facts of 3.5 sum to infinity. I'll be implementing these key facts within exam style questions. Here is exam style question 1. Given that the geometric series 1 minus 2x plus 4x squared minus 8x cubed plus dot 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 is convergent, part A find the range of possible values of x. Let's have a look at part A. So in part A, we are told that the geometric series is convergent. This implies that the modulus of the common ratio R has to be less than 1. Now the common ratio R is calculated by taking the second term and dividing by the first term. So the second term in the series is minus 2x. We've got minus 2x divided by the first term in the series is 1. This gives me minus 2x. So this implies that the modulus of minus 2x is less than 1. We can split this into two modulus. We have the modulus of minus 2 multiplied by the modulus of x, which is less than 1. Now, ladies and gents, the modulus of minus 2 is just 2. So we have 2 modulus x is less than 1. Hence, the modulus of x is less than 1 over 2. So this is the range of possible values of x. You can rewrite this as minus a half is less than x, which is less than a half. So ladies and gents, if x is between minus 1 over 2 and 1 over 2, we can see that the geometric series is convergent. Let's move on to part b. Now in part b, we want to find an expression for s infinity in terms of x. Okay, so s infinity. How do we calculate s infinity? Well, the formula is a divided by 1 minus r. Okay, so a is the first term in the geometric series, which is 1. r is the common ratio of the geometric series, which is minus 2x. Okay, so we know that s infinity is given by a divided by 1 minus r. So we can carry out the substitution. We've got 1 divided by 1 minus minus 2x, okay? The two negatives become positive. So s infinity is equal to 1 over 1 plus 2x. That there is an expression for s infinity in terms of x. Moving on to exam style question 2. In a convergent geometric series, the common ratio is r and the first term is 2. Given that s infinity is equal to 16 multiplied by s3, the sum of the first three terms, 
Part A, find the value of r to four significant figures. Now in the question, we are told that s infinity is equal 16 multiplied by s3. So s infinity, ladies and gents, is given by a over 1 minus r equal 16 multiplied by s3 is given by a multiplied by open bracket 1 minus r to the power 3 close bracket all over 1 minus r. In the question, we are told that the first term a is equal to 2. So we can substitute a equal to 2 into the left and the right hand side. So we've got 2 over 1 minus r is equal 16 multiplied by 2 open bracket 1 minus r to the power 3 close bracket over 1 minus r. So let's simplify the right hand side. We've got 2 over 1 minus r as normal. The right hand side, we can take 16 multiplied by 2, that's 32. 32 multiplied by open bracket 1 minus r to the power 3 close bracket over 1 minus r. Now we can multiply the entire equation by 1 minus r. So if we do this, the denominators will cancel and we're left with 2 equal 32 open bracket 1 minus r to the power 3 close bracket. Now ladies and gents, we can divide both sides of the equation by 32. So 2 divided by 32 is just 1 over 16. We've got 1 over 16 is equal to 1 minus r to the power 3. We can rearrange this and so if we do this, we get r to the power 3 is equal to 15 over 16. Now we can take the cube root. So r is equal to cube root of 15 over 16. We want to round the common ratio to four significant figures. So if we do this, we get r is equal to 0 0.9787 to four significant figures. That completes part A of the question. Now in part B, find the value of the fourth term. So we know that A, the first term is 2, and we know that the common ratio R in exact form is the cube root of 15 over 16. Okay, we want to work out the fourth term, so that is U4. We have to use the nth term formula for a geometric sequence, or you could say series. That is UN is equal AR to the power N minus 1. So I'm going to apply this formula. I've got 2 multiplied by cube root of 15 over 16 in brackets to the power 4 minus 1, which is technically 3. So now if I put this into my calculator, I get U4 is equal to 1.875. That there, ladies and gents, is the fourth term. This completes exam style question 2 and this teaching video 3.5 sum to infinity. If you found the video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a teaching video.